As we await the launch, let me tell the viewers about the flight events for LVM-3 M4 Chandrayaan-3 mission. At T0, the twin S-200 will be ignited and the mighty LVM-3 rocket lifts off. The core L-110 stage is airlit 108 seconds into the flight while the rocket is at an altitude of 45 kilometers. The S-200 strap-ons and L-110 will thrust together for the next 20 seconds. Thereafter, the strap-ons will separate at 127 seconds past launch time, while the rocket is at 62 km altitude. The relative velocity gained by the rocket in the meantime is 1.59 km per second. At an altitude of 71 km, close globe guidance is initiated for LVM-3. Separation of payload fairing takes place at 195 seconds past the launch at an altitude of 115 kilometers. The core 110 stage, having completed its burn time of about 200 seconds, is separated from the ongoing rocket. This event takes place at 306 seconds into the flight. At this point of time, the altitude will be 175 kilometers and the rocket would have acquired 4.2 km per second relative velocity. Then the upper cryogenic stage C25 ignites 2 seconds later and continues to burn for close to 650 seconds. During the operational regime of C25, the largest relative velocity addition takes place. It increases from 4.178 km per second to 9.804 km per second. And the most awaited moment of the Chandrayaan-3 separation is scheduled to take place at 969.7 seconds into the flight. The altitude will be 179.3 kilometers, which is a part of elliptical transfer orbit of 170 by 36,500 kilometers. From then on, the moon craft Chandrayaan-3 would commence its journey to the moon. 